Staff Sergeant Ryan Falk. I uh, work for the fire department and I'm initially a crew chief, but today I'm running incident command for the hazmat exercise. Uh, we're running an ins or we're running a exercise to where a truck ran into the building with a one-ton cylinder and 150-pound cylinder that are both leaking. Uh, two victims down, simulated two victims down, and that's basically what we're doing. It's training. Uh, we're multi-agency crews are coming together. We're working with uh, EM, the fire department. Everybody's having to, you know, coordinate their plan of attack for the, uh, the exercise, and it just gives us a chance to work with outside agencies. We simulate calling in other agencies. Where on a real world, we would have law enforcement and bioenvironmental services, you know, many other people on scene with us. So this certifies. Uh, EM, emergency management on their annual uh, hazmat level A training. This is what we do on a daily basis. The, you know, with the base and everything that they've got going on here, anything could happen when it comes to a hazmat. So for us, it's efficiency training. Ensure that our guys are ready for, you know, an initial response, a quick, you know, a quick rescue, or whatever the case may be, depending on the uh, the incident. I have personally never had to do anything like this real world. That's why the, I feel the training is very good for what we do. It just keeps us you know, proficient for it in case it does ever happen. 